If you ever considered doing a dramatic color change in a room in your house, let me show you how we're gonna do this. So here we go, we got this room. It's gonna go from this dark blue to a light gray. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is moving all the furniture, getting some plastic, just some regular plastic. Uh, you can get a paint store, cover everything up, put some drop cloths around the room, and start doing some repairs. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we're on to our next step. This is something like everybody normally does, um, but something we like to do is to pole sand the walls. You can see Todd's doing that here behind me. That just helps to remove any of the imperfections, little hairs and things that may have gotten into the paint in the previous uh, paint job. So we're gonna get that done and then we'll move on to removing the paste plates and doing some patching. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the patchwork. Um, what I have here in this bucket, it's called Easy Sand 20 Minute. You can get it at the hardware store, or most painting stores. Um, it's a powder that you mix some water into. Um, so now we're gonna patch them off. Okay, so now we're gonna get into getting the ceiling painted and we're gonna start off by getting that cut in so we can get it rolled. Okay, so now we're ready to roll the ceiling. We got it all cut in. So we're gonna use Benjamin Moore ceiling paint. That's what we're using. It's a nice flat, white, just basic ceiling paint. Most manufacturers have their own. They're all fairly similar. Um, so here we go. All right, so a couple things when you're rolling a ceiling. Number one, you wanna make sure you got everything covered because it's gonna splatter. You're gonna have paint everywhere. And uh, if you don't, you're gonna have little spots, little speckles all over everything. Um, number two, you, you wanna make sure when you're applying the paint, you, you give a nice even pressure. Um, if you don't, you can end up with a, like a heavy spot. We, we call a rope. When it dries, it kind of looks like a braided rope. So you wanna watch for those. And you just wanna make sure you spread it. Nice and even, not too thick. Okay, so now we're moving on to the trim. We've got everything sanded. Uh, we just gotta do a little bit of caulking before we get into the paint. So as you can see, um, we've got some, you know, this is mainly cosmetic. We've got some expansion contraction and the, the corner here is cracked out. So we're gonna put some caulk in there so it gives a nice smooth finish when we're done uh, with the paint. So we're gonna get going with that. Okay, so for the trim here, we're using Benjamin Moore's Advanced Satin. Um, typically with your trim, you want to use something uh, with a little bit harder finish with a shine to it so that, you know, touching, and you can wipe off fingerprints and that kind of thing. Um, so usually something a little shinier than your walls. Not always the case, you can use what you want, uh, but that's what we're using here today. Okay, so we've got our ceiling done, our trim is finished. Uh, we've sanded all our patches uh, smooth, which is only a couple of them. Um, so now we're gonna move on to painting the walls. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these in so that when we're rolling, uh, you can't get your roller into the corners. Obviously you don't wanna go too close to the ceiling or you're gonna put paint on your ceiling and you have to redo your ceiling. You don't wanna do that. So, all we're gonna do now, we like to use these Johnny rollers here, whiz rollers, mini rollers, or lots of names for these. Um, get in our corner here. And then we'll take our brush and we're gonna cut in along the ceiling.
Now, if you're uncomfortable with your ability to do a straight line, you could always get uh, frog tape from your paint store and run that in the corners so you can get a nice line. All right, so here we are. This is the easy part. We're gonna roll, get the walls rolled out here. We got this 18 with a trash bag liner. It's real, real high end stuff here. Um, no, but for real, uh, this bucket, uh, you can get these 18s at your hardware store, paint store, um, reasonable microfiber nap, so it gives us a nice smooth finish. And we're just gonna put it on here. So when I'm rolling the wall, I like to First couple of dips usually because you got to get the, the paint worked into your roller. And then I typically like to get it loaded up enough that it's not dripping. Start a little bit away from where I've last finished. Spread the paint, work my way back into where I finished the last time. And then work my way back out across where I applied the paint. And that generally gives you a nice, even, smooth uh, application. All right, so that's that done. That wall's finished. Now we just got to do that on the rest of the walls in the room. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them uh, down below. Thank you much.